One thing that always frustrated me about religion is that it divides people. People who are of various traditions fall in love. Jews and non-Jews, and then they ask, well, now what are we going to do? So many people are in interfaith marriages, interfaith relationships. The majority of American Jews are partnered with someone not Jewish. There are more children growing up in a home with one Jewish parent than with two. This is something that we've definitely discussed and worried about. We worship the wrong God. We worship habit, and we don't worship possibility. <laughs> Many people have not married out, but actually married in. We live in a world of such radical openness. We're meant to be blessing to one another. And the possibility of having a greater understanding is there. Both of us are climbing the mountain. We're just taking separate paths. I just would hope and pray that we can continue to uh, inspire. My feeling is we need a little of everybody. I believe that's really God's vision for the world. This is something that we longed to hear when we were starting this relationship. Raising kids is a huge leap of faith just because we don't know how they're going to turn out. Sometimes they say, you know, we've decided we're going to raise them Jewish, or we've decided we're going to raise them Catholic. Now, when they say, we're going to really try to do both, it's absolutely possible. Wine. Both. My daddy oh, loves wine. wine. There are really three strong centers of education for interfaith children, learning Christianity and Judaism side by side. Children grew up in interfaith homes. It's so interesting to talk to them about who they are now. There's not a minute of daylight between who I was then and who I am now. We can see that multiple religions can coexist very well. Will children be confused who are being raised both? That's a big question people have. I mean, if anything, you become less confused because you have the benefit of deeply understanding two religions. I'm a full Jew and a full Catholic. I'm interfaith. And that's my identity as a person. Oh, so you get Christmas and Hanukkah? Yeah, but we get Lent and Yom Kippur. <laughs> <laughs> what about all the other divisions between races, between other religions, between cultures, between liberals and conservatives? We're all created in God's image and likeness. We're the ones that keep screwing it up. What would happen if we looked at life where no one had to be the enemy? You don't know how, how it's going to work and if it's going to work. And I look at it simply and say, are you in love? You're in love. You're in God. I'm in the God business. How can I help you? This is a journey, and any good journey always involves a good leap of faith.